In this video, we're going to focus on creating an array for the images. So we have multiple images being loaded for every point style. So to do this, the first thing what we need is we will need our border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. This link you can find as well in the description box. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, join the Discord channel. All these links are in the description box. So what we want to do first is convert this into a line chart. So I'm going to scroll down. Let's say here line, save, refresh. So next, I have two images here. As you can see here, one is a colored image and the other one is a favicon number two with a grayed out image. So just to show you the contrast. What I want to do is then just put, put these multiple images as an array in here for our point style. So what we're going to do here first is to load those images in here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say let an image array will be a blank array. And then what I want to do here is the text of that image. So I say image text or something like that. And that will be equal to what exactly is an array. And then in here, just to make it very simple, we have favicon one. And then we have another one here, favicon number two. So I'm just going to grab that. So to do this, I'm going to say here, favicon one, comma, string value, favicon number two. So once I did this, what I want to do is create a for each loop to loop through all of these array values to create the image object. To do that, I'm going to say here, let's say image text or something like that for each. And then what I'm going to say here for the image function or expression, and then we're going to put it in here. So what I want to do now is create the image object and I will immediately assign a size to that. So I say let image will be equal to a new image. And this image has a, let's say a 30 pixel by 30 pixel in height and width or width and height will be 30 by 30. So it will be a square shape. Next, what I want to do is I want to get the source code. So the source code is basically this part here, but I want to make it more dynamic. So what I'm going to say here, I'm going to say image dot source and the image comes from this specific image object that we created. Then I'm going to say here template literals back tick back tick. And I'm going to put in this item here. This here, the template literals, allows us to create concatenation with ease. And then what I want to do, this should be a variable. And the variable will be eventually the item here. So whatever the image is, because this will loop through all of these values. So this will grab the specific image. And once we did this, what we want to do then is we want to push this source or this image object into the image array. So what I'm going to say here is image dot push and then push in that specific image. Once we did this, we can do a console log and let's see if we get the image array and all the values in here. Save, refresh, open up developer tab. And you can see here we get an image and specifically a image object. So now, what I want to do is, as you can see here, it gives us this current source, all the information that we need. So what I want to do next is making sure that those will be replaced. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab this here, go down in the, in the data set specifically, I'm going to assign these images. So what I want to do here is use point style. And we set this on true. Then what I want to do is the point style, this will be an array and the array will be this one here. And you can say here, for example, index zero, and then another one here, index one, let's save that, refresh. All right, let's see if that works, not yet. And of course, the reason why this doesn't work is because I'm using this here. So that is not what I want. I want, of course, the image array that we have created. We push the values. So let's put this one in here, save, refresh. There we are. Could we remove this and just put in the array in here, save, refresh. That works as well. 
And that's it.